Welcome back to our channel. This is me Rashika and today we're going to make an interesting project which is the light and night detection project using Pictoblocks. Pictoblocks is a scratch based platform and now the hardware we that we are going to use is Elegoo Arduino Mega Starter Kit. In this project an LED is going to turn on when it's dark and it's going to turn off when there's light. So let's get started. The components that we're going to use are first Elegoo Arduino Mega Microcontroller. Second, a photo cell. The photo cell which is used is of the type light dependent resistor sometimes called an LDR. As the name suggests, this component acts just like a resistor, except that the resistance changes in response to how much light is falling on them. The greater the light falling on an LDR, the lesser the resistance offered. So, according to the Ohm's law, which is current is equal to voltage, divided by resistance, the lesser the resistance, the greater is the current in the circuit. The third component is an LED. The fourth one is an one kilo ohm resistor. You also need some jumper wires. Even a breadboard to connect all the above components into a circuit. And last but not least, a USB cable to connect Arduino with the laptop. So let's connect all of them together. Open picture box. Then connect the USB cable to the laptop. Then click on board. Click on Arduino Mega. Then click on this connect button. Then you can see that it's it's already connected and you can see these blocks right here. Now go to the events palette and get the one flat clicked tab block. Then get the say block. Instead of hello, we're going to go to Arduino Mega and get And, go, and let's go to sensors and we're going to get read analog sensor this block this drop down menu should be set as light or photo resistor and this should be and this drop down menu should be set at a8 Now let's go to control. We'll get the if else condition. Inside the condition, 
we're going to get the less than operator. Then go to sensors and drag another read analog sensor. Again, set this at A8 and change this, change 50 into 60. If the condition is true, you're going to go to Arduino Mega and set digital pin 46 output as high. Else, set digital pin as 46 again, but instead this is going to be low. Last but not least, we're going to put all of this in a forever loop. So it'll go on forever. With this, your code is ready. Now let's run the code. Before we run the code, click on Upload Firmware. Now that the firmware is already uploaded, let's run the code. So you can see the result of our work that when the light is off, then this LED glows. And when the light is turned on, then the LED does not glow, it turns off. That's it guys, we're done for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please email us at scratchprogrammingprojects at the rate gmail.com. Please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks and see you again in the next video. Bye!